Well, let's look at part B. Part B says, let's find the electric potential at a point R is less than or equal to A. So at a point inside the sphere. Well, if we look at this situation where we have the sphere of radius A, this is a solid conducting sphere. Since we know it's a solid conducting sphere in electrostatic equilibrium, we know that the electric field everywhere inside that sphere is equal to zero. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at the expression that we had derived for the electric field. Well, we had shown that the change of electric potential, in other words, the electric potential difference, is equal to minus the line integral between two points. Well, for this part of the problem, let's take a point on the surface, which we'll call point A, and then let's take another point inside the sphere, which we will call this point inside the sphere point R, because it is a distance r from the center of the sphere. So in this situation, let us find the difference of potential between a point on the surface, which I will call that v of a, and the point r in the sphere. So this means we're going to integrate from a to r, and then we have the dot product between the electric field in the sphere, dr. Well, a change, in, a, a change in electric potential, which we call electric potential difference, is the electric potential at point R minus the electric potential at point A. And what is that equal to? Well, we know the electric field is equal to zero in a conductor in electrostatic equilibrium. Because the electric field is equal to the zero, this definite integral evaluates to zero. This means then that the electric potential difference between a point on the surface and any point inside this conducting sphere must be equal to zero. So in other words, the electric potential everywhere inside a conducting sphere is constant. So whatever the electric potential is on the surface, that value is constant throughout the sphere. Well, for the surface, if we look at the result we derived from the last page, we had shown that the electric potential is equal to kq over r, for r is greater than or equal to a. The electric potential must be continuous. So this means the electric potential at point A, R equals A, is K, Q over A. But from before, since we know the electric potential at the surface is K, Q over A, that must mean the electric field at any point inside the surface is equal to K, Q over A. The electric potential is constant everywhere inside a conduct everywhere inside a conductor in electrostatic equilibrium. Let's just do a quick sketch of what that would look like. Let's do a sketch of electric potential versus distance. 
where this line will represent the line r equals a at the surface of the sphere. So inside the sphere, the electric potential is a constant for this positive charge. This is K Q over A. But once we are outside the sphere, the electric potential falls inversely with distance. So out here in this region, the electric potential is K Q over R. constant inside the conductor. In this case, the conductor is a sphere and varies inversely with distance outside the sphere.